Just when you think that the Big 12 squad cannot surprise you anymore. Happy Halloween, folks. Boys, strap it on. I, well, uh, don't. I meant. You're talking ball with the Big 12 squad. From Oklahoma State to Utah, from Kansas State to BYU. From Houston to Texas Tech, it's the local experts of the Locked On Podcast Network bringing you scoops, breakdowns, and the most comprehensive preview of the upcoming Big 12 weekend. Buckle up. It's the Big 12 squad, and we have a seat for you. No her feelings and thin skin allowed. Squad up. You're part of the Big 12 squad. Yeah. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's Halloween, so we all wore our best Taco Bell masks. Good job to the guys here who participated and wore their Taco Bell masks to help our friends, my dog, to help our friend St. Bill Snyder, who wore his Taco Bell mask in the process of putting a beefy five layer burrito up his butt. Uh, that's Richie Bradshaw of Locked On Sun Devils, Kevin Borba of Locked On Bus, Parker Ainsworth of Locked On Cougs. Guys, thanks for participating in the fun little Halloween bit that we planned. And three, two, one, boo. Wait, I didn't realize this is, I didn't know, I, my phone hasn't been working. I had no idea. Your Nokia 6 doesn't work. Uh, collective <laughs> boo for those who didn't participate in the fun Halloween thing that our producers tried to plan for us and were lame. Uh, the Big 12 happened last week. Some teams won, some teams lost. This is the squad show where we talk about the teams that won and lost. Cam Stewart of Locked On Baylor, Chris Level Locked On Texas Tech, Cody Stovall Locked On Oklahoma State didn't play our fun little games, but they still get to join the show anyway. Cam, how was the stripe out? The what? The, the stripe out the stadium every three rows. More like for- a strikeout, am I right, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I... <laughs> good one. What What's the next? Uh, what's the next stadium uh, we, we're gonna make? I mean, because the, the, we've done the color outs, we did the stripe outs. I mean, did they, can you do a checkerboard in the stands? I mean, like, what? It, at some point, is this not played I, out and jump the shark? I think some of us just appreciate showing up. I don't know that. Oh yeah, well, that, there that. you go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> is Richie Bradshaw suffocated? <laughs> he has. <laughs> He hasn't moved in that damn bag. He's just sitting there with those glasses. Up there. I'm vibing right now. Oh you my guys god! Can't tell I'm laughing like like I normally am. You just can't see my face because I'm hidden. All right, you guys can take the bags <laughs> off of your head <laughs> for the duration of the Big Twelve squad. Show. Unless you watch that Arizona State Duke scrimmage, then I'd probably keep the bag on. If we're being honest. <laughs> well, guys, I didn't bring a bag because I thought I've we were been I am a brown bag special once in my in my past times, so I didn't think I needed one because I am one, right? That's fair. Whatever happened to your facial hair? What what's going on with that? We need well, that. I told you uh, off air, which I cannot repeat, but let's just say <laughs> that I got attacked by my skin. I guess my skin and my beard. They had a disagreement. They got in a fight, and it all turned white, and I had to get rid of it. That's what it is. Maybe it's a condition, or maybe it's the condition of watching us play football. Uh, if I, we also talked off the air about how if we were to actually keep everything Cody Stovall says in the shows, these shows would be a lot <laughs> longer. We Every week, I get to call our producers and we, tell them, hey, Cody said something worse this week. Please take it out. We need I to sell the director's cut. I was gonna say we need like a like a unrated version of the show oh. to go up. Parker, the one week that you actually have a working computer and you have a bag over your head, it's okay. You got to, yeah, you can't I, see, but you're the I last one to have it on. I well, I don't. Um, I honestly don't know that I want everyone to see my face clearly because I'm not used to that. If I'm being really honest, <laughs> You've done a great job so far. <laughs> Parker, we can go to you. You beat Utah this week. <laughs> I don't even, you know, nine nine weeks ago, that sentence just blows my mind. Um, that this 17-14, it was one of the least fun football games in existence, but you won it against Utah, my friend. Yeah, you could say it resembled what comes after a five-layer burrito. I feel like truthfully... Victory? Like... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Um, no, I think that the deal was it's like Relief. you said, you know, like nine weeks ago, this might have been surprising, but during the week, like, did did anyone think U- Utah's lost you four in a row he? now? They're going to lose four that. more. Like, is anyone really that surprised at this point in the season? I don't, I don't know, know, man. It's, it's they still have Houston. Walk so the rest of you could run against Utah. You're welcome, dude. <laughs> like seriously, Gatorade cooler. Gatorade outside, cooler. outside shot at a bowl game? Question mark. Um, we're saying I'm hearing that on the San Diego, San Diego. If you're gonna dream, dream big, brother. Hey, we got we got Cam and Baylor, right? Uh, 
we're, of course, we would be the team that would mess up the bowl game chances or the college football playoff chances if one of Kansas State or BYU, because that would just be how things would go. Like, we're going to mess something up. It's, it's going to work out for us. We're going to get a bowl game. Why well, just wait? I love that this season has turned around from we will mess something up to we will mess something up for the other team. <laughs> I think that's great, Parker. I think that's a great – because I get it. Trust me. I get it. Yeah, talk about turnarounds. Y'all started winning football games. Yeah, Cam has to come to these shows now because his team's good. That's kind of part of the that's part of the deal. Because content's down now, numbers are way down since we started winning. So <laughs> I got to do something, man. That talk about depressing, man. The last two weeks, I'm talking about wins and all my views are going down. Okay, oh, because I'm ugly. Now zero and five in. Maybe you could pull the Cody off. Just shave the mustache, leave whatever weird stubble thing is going on down there, and the ex- over excessive sideburns, and possibly you'll be on to something. Uh, Cody, your your football team is 0-5 now in Big 12 play after returning 20 of 22 starters. The Doak Walker Award winner, a seventh-year quarterback, and possibly three Blitnikoff caliber wide receivers. Uh, who do we fire and how soon? Well, there's not a uh, time frame that is unacceptable. We should be already firing people, but it is what it is where we are, we are where we are. But at least we have the possibility of winning a game, huh? That's something. I'm excited. Not this Saturday, right? Well, I mean, it's it's homecoming. It's at night. The and... world's greatest homecoming. It, well, that is very true. Yeah. <laughs> that that might be the highlight, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't. I don't have a lot of faith at the moment right now. Yeah. We'll have to debate sense. it sometime later this week. Me and you. Uh, let's talk Chris level your football team won this week. If you turn the game off when they were up by a lot of points, but then they found a way to actually lose the duration of their four quarters, Texas tech falls 35, 34 and go. Well, it was better than the week before versus cams guys, uh, when it was just kind of a, a no show. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man, uh, up 31, 14 with six to go in the third and, uh, not quite enough gentlemen, not quite enough. Uh, I wish I had more answers, uh, but it's it's frustrating right now in Lubbock, and uh, and now you get to go to cold, rainy Ames, Iowa this weekend. Who who can't wait for that? Last time I was in Ames, <laughs> Iowa, the temperature was exactly zero degrees. Um, I'm on the sideline, and I'm not lying, drinking chicken broth to oh. try to stay warm is what they had on the sideline, chicken broth and coffee, but it won't be quite like that. Uh, That's the most week. Iowa thing I've ever heard in my life. But, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I could not live there. Uh, they can have it, uh, but <laughs> they they do uh, they do play good football uh, most of the time. Although I will say this, Richie, I like the way you wear your hat compared to, to Matt Campbell. I don't like the, the bill like of the hat is like, you know, kind of uh, and all that. But uh, yeah, so – we're, we're kind of reeling in Lubbock, but uh, we're trying to figure it out. How about that? Playing Cody the team. Here like, wait a Thanks, minute. Chris. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Matt Campbell's hat is stupid. What an idiot. What a nerd. <laughs> what a loser. I don't that know what it looks is. like, but yeah, I'm with you guys. What a dork. Uh, Richie, welcome to the Big 12. Meet Matt Campbell. He's been the head coach there for like a decade. Uh, before, we, before we go into our next segment and talk Colorado and surprisingly good Arizona State, I uh I, I know Jake Hatch, who's on a bye week this week, is watching from distance after BYU blew out UCF. Did you guys really think I was going to miss out on the opportunity to dress up and act the fool right here on Locked On Big 12 Squad? Absolutely was not going to miss that opportunity. Now, we always act the fool. It seems like every week here on this show, we're having a ton of fun along the way. But when you get a chance to dress up for Halloween, that even doubles the fun. More importantly, want to express happy Halloween to all of the guys here on the show, more importantly to you, our listeners out there, whether you're watching and or listening to this, hope you guys have a fantastic Halloween, get a bunch of candy. And if you're like me, you're exacting that parent tax after your kids go to bed and picking out your favorite treats from their stash of candy. More importantly, life is living moss in Provo, Utah right now to use the motif from today's show. And more importantly, BYU, top of the league, 5-0 and in the conference. You cannot argue they are top dog right now, and we'll see how it goes the final four games of the year. But I can tell you this much, Utah fans, you're living the nightmare while BYU's living the dream. It may feel like a treat in Provo, but it feels like, more like a trick it, up in Salt Lake City, and I cannot wait to talk all things Holy War next week. First Big 12 edition of the Holy War all time. Very much looking forward to it, even if JT's not, but that's okay. But happy Halloween to everybody. 
maybe just not so much Utah fans. Dude, oh, that was so Cody, wholesome. what are you what doing? Word, Smith. Cody, oh, what? Is that a plastic bag? Cody, it's don't bad. do it. I know it's right, only five. Don't I'm do like, it, wait, yeah. the middle of this hat, and he's like about to suffocate himself. <laughs> Dude, Saturday, Saturday, man. Man. It's, it's over, man. I'm just going to end it right here. Uh, right. Lacking uh, context, that'd be a whole coming. lot worse. Talk about a homecoming. I, I think the... <laughs> We're talking holy and everything like that. He's just like, I'm going to end it, man. It's over. <laughs> it's the sweetest <laughs> Halloween. Someone took Halloween really seriously. That was the most BYU thing. He wishes a happy Halloween like six times. <laughs> That's all they have in Provo is Utah. I mean, and, and, and it's sugar. Hey, don't eat the wrong candy, though. They have, you have and a dress yours. code for their costumes, right? So you, probably, yes. Um, I also the mustache that he's going <laughs> with. There was a lot there. Happy Halloween to everybody, and uh, BYU is good. Uh, coming is it Halloween? Up... <laughs> oh. You didn't even dress up, huh? You're still scaring the kids. Coming up, Colorado's good. This is the Big 12 squad or whatever. Oh, today's show is, is brought to you by FanDuel. Get ready to tackle NFL and college football action with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Because right now, new customers can bet $5 to get $150 in bonus bets if you win. The FanDuel Sportsbook app gives you everything you need to place live bets on the NFL all in one place. Get a hunch in the middle of a game. You can check out the latest stats, view live, play-by-play, -play, and so much more on the same page where you place your bets. Visit FanDuel.com or join today. You'll get started with $150 in bonus bets. And if you win, your first $5 bet, you get that $150 in bonus bets. That's FanDuel.com. Never waste a hunch. Make every moment more. It's with FanDuel. It's an official sportsbook partner of the NFL. All right. Uh, there is Colorado uh, who exists in college football. Kevin Borba, let's get your... Big 12 squad, sorry I missed you guys, and I'm sorry that St. Bill Snyder will not be getting a tattoo of Shador Sanders on his butt cheek like we had all hoped. The Colorado Buffaloes, they let us down, they let their fans down, and they let America down for the sake of the tattoo. Realistically, here's what went wrong. They found the perfect game plan against UCF. They crumbled that game plan up, threw it out the window, and said, hey, let's go back to our old ways on offense. Oh, wait, I forgot. Kevin Moore was actually here. <laughs> I was like, the, like, the, I'm like, he was just, he was just, just on the screen. He was just on the screen. That's the video I feel like doing. I can hear his voice. And I forgot to run. I don't even remember where that was from. <laughs> that was from the last time they lost, which was um, almost a month ago, I think. Um, I well, like, I meant to play that. Thanks for sending I'm the video in. Here, he says. Literally, literally here. Says, I would tell right, people I'm dead. Like, Updated version of Kevin Borba. <laughs> uh, how, how yeah, what you, you feel? Saw, what you saw a second ago was a hologram. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was me three games ago when they lost to Kansas State. Um, now they're coming off another double digit win. Um, their last four win or four of their last five wins have been by double digits. Their offense is clicking defensively. They're a much better team, and Shador Sanders is. Getting outshined by Travis Hunter, um, but I think he's quietly having one of the best quarterback seasons in college football. Um, three out of the last four games, he's completed 80% of his passes. And Travis Hunter, thanks to an Ash Gent Genty dud, is back in the Heisman race. Um, Borba, at 10-2, and two, oh, let's open this one up with the whole, the whole, the whole panel. Does yeah. Colorado have an outside shot at an at-large bid to the college football playoff? I if think they ESPN do. ESPN has any say. Yeah, I've talked, yeah, exactly. You got the brand. I've talked about this on my Sorry, Richie. I I've talked about this on my show a lot. A lot of the SEC teams are going to cannibalize themselves, right? Alabama and LSU play. Georgia plays Ole Miss and Tennessee. Texas plays Texas A&M. Um, this isn't the SEC, but Notre Dame plays Army and USC. And I think if Notre Dame loses a game, they're automatically out of contention for anything. So there's a lot of things that can happen around the country that can help their case. And realistically, why would you not want Deion Sanders, a Deion Sanders-led team, in the playoff, right? That's right. automatic viewership. That's automatic money. And I know I saw the report the other day that Colorado's viewership's gone down. Maybe it's because they play every game at 10 p.m. Um, maybe because Big <laughs> Noon is only airing Big Ten games now that Colorado's not getting in the primetime slots. But I promise you, if they play before it's midnight, um, people will watch. Cameron, people are talking. The Baylor Bears at 8-4. and four. Outside shot at the college football playoff. Can't write them off. You cannot write them off. Quality losses. Okay. <laughs> BYU, Iowa State, Colorado. Not going to mention the other one. Um, <laughs> Non-quality loss. Why not? 
Look, back in back in the day, you most of you will remember this. When I was in college, a long time ago, it was all about the quality loss, the four-team playoff. It was all about the quality loss. Back when Baylor used to not do that a lot. Um, so, yeah, look, start telling your kids about the 8-4 and four Baylor Bears. It can happen. All you need to do, all you need to do is just beat a team this weekend that you've beaten once in the last decade. And uh, in a couple weeks, you just need to win in a place you've literally never, ever won before. Cam, if, if they do go eight and four, doesn't that mean Dave Aranda just saved his job and you have to deal with this again next year? We sure did. Nope. <laughs> we get to deal with this next year. We get to. <laughs> I, I hope that Cam's I, views continue to go down. That's what I. Hope. I also love that this Me has too, become right? Cam Squad when there's another Baylor alumni on the board here. <laughs> it's all Cam, all Cam, all the time. <laughs> this is it's Cameron is Baylor Bears for the first time. It is so un. It's so terrible. For the first time since 2021, Dave Aranda tweeted this week in a tweet that wasn't related to death. He's been in this thing where over the last three years, he'll only tweet if he's like, you know what? RIP to a real one. But this Dodgers week, guy. Yeah, for the first time in three years, he's tweeted something normal, and it was hashtag sick him with the game graphic for the blackout. The Baylor's going to be like, you know what? We got a little bit too complex last week. Everyone just wear one asynchronous color, please. Bro, Dave is shucking and jiving. You should have saw him at that press conference. Had the place rolling like it was Steve Martin in the mid-70s, man. He had that place going. He's programmed to do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. So, hey, iOS updates are getting out of hand. They need charged to- his battery hey. lately? Hey, uh, welcome to the show, Zach Blackerby of Lost on Auburn. Zach, uh, how does it feel to know that Auburn is worse than every Big 12 team represented in tonight's Big 12 squad? Oh, man. No, that's Parker's here. That's not true. He beat Utah. <laughs> he beat Utah. We, we won last week. <laughs> you tried to give Zach a stray, and he ricocheted to Parker. <laughs> Look yeah, at that guy in your head. The SEC squad recording. I thought I'd come over here. Y'all want to see what I wore to it? To the SEC squad? What are you doing? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, he's gonna he's Please gonna put a Taco, a Taco Bell bag, bag. on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. that's the As- aftermath of the Taco Bell incident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. As Big Cat would say, happy Halloween, yeah. to you and your entire family. Happy Halloween. Uh to Zach Blackerby. Who who here actually likes Halloween? Why uh, won't you? What? I love <laughs> yeah. the little what? Twizzlers. I'm a fan. The, oh, so you just thought you like the candy? I, yeah. I think it's like candy corn hate. <laughs> you month. can get those anytime, oh. Cody. <laughs> no, you cannot. You cannot get the little ones that come with all the other the Reese's and crap. You be Reese's, quiet, Cameron, he would. Right? Reese's, yeah, yeah, Reese's. Honestly. That's great. <laughs> I don't know about I don't know about Rest. Halloween. I do go total basic blonde about pumpkin stuff, though. So this whole time of year is my my. You know, alley. Parker, nobody asked you to say that. You didn't have to even uh, say that at all. You could have just kept that one inside. You're uh, a pumpkin spice wait, guy. Is I, I do all of it. Y'all cut half what Cody says. Do you yeah, keep, you're I mean, keeping that one in. Chris has the quarter zip and the collared shirt here. He's got the pumpkin spice look. That I could see it. Chris, the you're a Starbucks boots, Chris? guy. I, I've Slave never, Parker. I've never, I've never had partaken in any of the pumpkin spice. Like Parker, do you have, tell me, tell me this, please tell me you don't have like a candle at home that's like pumpkin spice scented. No, I, I'm right more now. just like, well, it's walk nice. through whatever grocery store aisle and just like grab all of the orange bags and see which one tastes good that month. Um, I, I just, I'm a sucker for it, but I don't know about candy corn. That's a little bit extreme. Candy, candy corn is terrible. It's trash. Oh, nope, candy it's corn's great. good. What do we do? It's fine. It's candy, just like candy you. corn is a bottom tier candy. Uh, it's, a it's here and for and two all. months Gundy. a year. Mike it's Gundy old. likes candy corn. It's Greg. garbage. I, That's all I need to know I about candy. I always liked Mike Gundy. And Mike yeah. Gundy's got a lifetime. Yeah, Richie, I know you, again, just got to the Big 12, but a lot to learn, man. A lot to learn about the Big 12 conference. Mike Gundy to the hats that the coaches wear. Um, Coming up, we have actual games this week on Saturday. Uh, let's talk about football for the first time ever on the Big 12 squad. Oh, that little giggle from Barker. Today's show is brought to you by Five Hour Energy. Woo! I feel it. It hit my veins. I take one before every squad show because we record these late at night usually just to peel back the curtain a bit. And I need a big pick me up after my old nine to five. So you can stay up, watch the squad show, stay up and record the squad show. And you can stay up to watch Big 12 games to go till two in the morning. So, Anything, anything that can be tackled with more energy, more rigor, can be done with five-hour energy. They created a star 
Five hour energy shot with a special flavor called Fan Fuel. The energy shot made for just just for super fans like us, the fans who are the first in the parking lot and the last to leave. We see you. Five hour energy knows no matter what that your team is going to be prepared to play hard, and you can require that heart that it takes to be a fan with five hour energy, whether you're ironing your jersey or at the tailgate. The limited edition stand, the five hour energy shot is here to keep. You fueled throughout the season. What's your fan fuel this week? Whatever it is, do it with the five hour energy available. Five hour energy.com. Five hour energy.com shipped nationwide. All right. I love the Parker laughs going into every ad break. There's just that little giggle there in the background. <laughs> because you talk about football, like, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie. Oh, that's great. Oh, uh, Chris, you are. You mentioned you're going to Ames, Iowa. The weather's going to be beautiful this week. And oh, bang, wait. There he is. Fresh off of a Catawba hey, volleyball you. game. Hey, he said the name right. Yeah. Phone. <laughs> it is JT Wistersill of the oh. team that lost to Houston this week. I was, hey, I was going to say, do you not guys say. You suck. You can. <laughs> We absolutely Utah is absolutely atrocious at football right now, and you guys cannot say that I no longer dislike the Big Twelve or all these stuck up things because I showed up knowing that all I was going to do was get dunked on for the next five minutes or however much longer y'all even have. And good to see everyone. And this episode's about to get extended by twenty minutes <laughs> because we got to catch up. Uh, JT's here to brag about winning the bye week, which Utah will probably struggle to do without no. its offensive coordinator, especially. Um, JT, I hope the volleyball game was good. That's all I really needed from you is just to kind of give you 30 seconds of that. <laughs> it means a lot you showed up, though. See you later. Chris Level, <laughs> Texas Tech. We didn't hear about football. Kick, kick team game. off, man. Kick team off. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, we're just going to be mean to the guy anyway. But very cool on him. For, you know what? Fine. Oh. Hang out. I don't care. I was, I was going to say. I was going to say, if y'all, I, I hustled and died my best to pop on. If y'all just blew me off, there is a Taco Bell bag sitting in my dang car. I am at least going to be on this show, dang it. Yeah, you missed it. Like four of us were wearing it at the top of the show. Four of the I eight. I have one. Good job. All right. One would have been All right. five but, of the eight. But we brought Bro, JT. We brought JT on here to talk football. So let's get down to brass tacks, JT. Would Utah lose to Catawba if they played this week? <laughs> they would. They, Catawba's also going through it, so they would not lose to Catawba. Both both teams actually have had season-ending quarterback injuries, so I'm starting to think I am the problem. Oh. Bro, he had such an easy answer to dunk on Baylor there. He didn't do it. That's class. That's <laughs> I mean, at least, Catawba, class. at least Catawba beat Baylor. That's like my one like saving grace, I guess, right? Or and they Cody. Have, they could have Cody, we beat you guys, through. too. So there yeah. we go. Those transitive <laughs> property. Yeah. Um, Chris Level, at some point, uh, yeah. our consummate professional, you will actually get to talk about football. Try it. Just just go. See what you can get. Is it okay? Let me ask you, gentlemen. This Iowa State any good? I mean, how how they the, the best team they've beaten is a five and three Iowa team. Abstain. Yeah, <laughs> I know they 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 beat yeah, I mean, they beat Baylor. Like, well, they beat, you really they beat. we're we're gonna say any good? Like I understand questions about them being in the top ten, but I mean, there's still credit to finding ways to win this late in the season. I uh, JT, I do believe that. it was sarcasm that our friend Chris Level was using. I just want to slip oh. that one in there. Um, <laughs> the teams in front of you. Yeah. They, they are they are good they are sound they have i think more more people back than anybody in the big 12 how about this they're going for their first eight and oh start in program history this weekend coming off the second bye week so i don't know uh, i i hope texas tech can give them a game i would think that they can uh, if you can run the ball but it's supposed to i think like 80 percent chance of rain so i'm not sure what we're going to get uh mm. but uh yeah, Rocco Beck, man. I mean, that, that's right. a sneaky good signal caller in this league, and uh, Matt Campbell can coach uh, for sure. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. That's all I've got. Yeah, uh, sneaky good hat, signal caller. <laughs> so many things. Uh, Parker Ainsworth, Houston upset Utah, and they upset Kansas State in Houston. By the way, here it's a sellout. <laughs> uh, sellout of maybe something else, but no, I I do think that. Dear God. <laughs> um, I, I do think that Houston's going to be interesting in this one, um, not because Houston's as good as BYU, but they're like method to winning and, you know, run the ball well. BYU play good actually defense. has nothing to do with this week's game, but thank you for that. No, that. but the, they're the team that beat Kansas State. And what I was saying is that, like, I think that, like, the Put path to victory would be the yeah. same. Okay. Um, and I don't think that's un- – like, Houston's not as good as BYU is at those things, but I think that they would try to do the same kind of things. Um, I'm really nervous about Avery Johnson, though. I think the guy's really good. I don't. I don't want to have to tackle that guy. 
Hey, by the way, by the way, we got this like chat thing going off to the side of the screen, and like, man, somebody needs to like seriously have a talk with Spencer McLaughlin uh, because. Do we have? Like, I think we need to bring him on right now. I, got no. I mean, like, it, 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 oh, there he is. Hey, 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 hey. I have just crowbarred my way into the chat. Hello, he fellow Big Twelve brethren. He needs to be put in timeout. Flint man. Tropics off the court. That's it. That <laughs> Flint, is it. Michigan we're going home. Mega Bowl. We're going home. We're going like home. We're Line has been crossed. I got two words for you. Like, yeah, I mean, what is going on with this? <laughs> well, I think what's happening, Chris, is you clearly never watched Semi Pro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jackie <laughs> Moon. Chris just right? takes it. Yes. Yeah. That is a, yeah, yes. Right. Yes. Right. Jackie Moon. And, you know, Batman and the Dark Knight, all sorts of other movie references we could we could come up with. But, yeah, that's where we uh, – that's where we went in the chat. And I think people watching are going to know exactly what scene was transpiring once they realize that we aren't repeating the words right. here on the air. Spencer did yeah. in the chat like okay, uh, something, something that would about. pull the Flint Tropics off the court. That's what, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what, what And JT what, uh, is giving us the sneakers on the court sound effect for extra. The hell. I appreciate that, JT. Something about ambient noise and JT oh. on these shows is great. JT in Utah, we just bring the Big 12 down this year. <laughs> what happened to your last name on the screen graphic? Were you just I don't, no time here? I mean, no, no, <laughs> it's no, no, time, no time. It's not worth it. I'm like an extra at this point. Like Utah doesn't matter in the season. I don't matter. Like I'll just be Jay next week probably. We'll just <laughs> go from there. Like Do we need Prince, to send you man. a care package, man? Good <laughs> Lord. It I'm has dark. gotten dark. <laughs> A hair care package? What it's are we talking about? <laughs> hey! Oh! Watch out! Bosley! JT, uh, we can't take uh, that. You want we Bosley? I was thinking it. Rogaine! Oh my uh, gosh, Bosley! Uh, I've, forgot I've about that before. one. I've used Rogaine before. Oh, I whoa. Need Keeps. Oh. It's not our ad read, but Keeps does have products to help with this. I should point <laughs> that out. Can we, doesn't can Hims we, have it? Doesn't him? Can, can we add that I, I was ready when we had a Hims read to like t take out my hair and show like, oh. I use Hims too. I'm using it right now. And then it's just all sexual health. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't use that. But not that there's anything wrong with that. I do use Hims yeah. every day. <laughs> Wait, Spencer. Uh, also, also Spencer. What? Do you have yeah. a promo code for him <laughs> that we could possibly use? Uh, like I, I, think there is, I think there is one. It might be relevant. JT, was there a question for me in there? Or no, did you just, just bolt out of the stadium like Utah's offense every week? <laughs> <laughs> I was that Utah's offense doesn't even show Utah, up. Game week, so I don't anywhere. even know they can yeah. bolt yeah. out. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right. I was going to say was you asked if I was doing well. I mean, I thought Utah was going to win the Big 12, go to a college football playoff, win a game there, and instead they have lost four games in a row, the most recent of which was to Houston. So we're just fantastic yeah, you did. down here, Spencer. <laughs> Gosh, those vibes do sound pretty low. Can anybody send out a lower sports vibe than that? Cody still um, put the, put the plastic it bag was, on again. It, it put might the plastic be bag back back on. Yeah. You have to be a Yankee fan, but you could. Well, oh, it, they're playing the in the World Series, Chris. I've been a baseball fan. fan for 20 years. I've never even seen my team you're, go to the World like Series. Years old. Chill. But I get Yankees <laughs> aren't here to get swept in the World Series. <laughs> I got Jets, Jets fans, Florida State fans. fans. They could, like they could probably match my misery. Cody had the opportunity to respond with something more miserable. Cody. I was just going to say it's probably easier for Cowboy fans to watch burritos going butts than keep watching our football program Which on Saturdays. <laughs> There's that. That was oh, clever. Um, I mean, wasn't that we, the plot was, of uh, – Wait, I actually have an Oklahoma movie. State question. What's the Heath Ledger movie? That was the plot of the Heath – Brokeback Mountain. That's exactly what that Whoa. was. <laughs> that, that kind of Cowboys is what we're talking about. All right. All right well, um, we have marred everything that is good. My grandmother shouldn't watch this show, and neither should BYU fans probably. So before we close it out, one last time, Jay Cash, wish us a happy Halloween. Did you guys really think I was going to miss out on the opportunity to dress up and act the fool right here on Locked On Big 12 Squad? absolutely was not going to miss that opportunity. Now, we always act the fool. It seems like every week here on this show, we're having a ton of fun along the way. But when you get a chance to dress up for Halloween, that even doubles the fun. More importantly, want to express happy Halloween to all of the guys here on the show. More importantly, to you, our listeners out there, whether you're watching and or listening to this. Hope you to every mother and child, <laughs> to the poor, to the needy, to the rich, a happy Halloween. <laughs> Can any of this stay in? Can any of this stay in? What? <laughs> Hold on. He's just really this? passionate about Halloween. Are you <laughs> telling me that that video played twice on this show? Yes, that's what we're saying.
Well, it was one, it was bad both times. One and a half times because we didn't finish at that time. So we didn't make it all the way through, unfortunately. Run it, Florba, Florba, don't you dare be throwing out decibel points on this show with me on it now. That's not fair. That's not fair. Uh, don't do that. I think there should be some little sound bite at the end of every episode of something that we said during it, kind of like at the end of the King of the Hill credits when they do like a funny <laughs> quote from it, and just throw one of those at the end of every squad. Uh, Is this one going to be get off the court? <laughs> I made three weeks ago. Uh, While I was here. <laughs> I don't even know at this point. Usually I would tell the world who all of you are, but I don't think I care oh, to do it. Going. Follow and subscribe. <laughs> That's <laughs> just Hunter Drake Reed. covering for the fact that he doesn't remember any of our names. Something <laughs> JT and then the last name's like eight syllables in a row. And I don't even I don't even know. Eight, eight <laughs> syllables in a row. That's a long last name. <laughs> you said it right no, earlier. Nine consecutive <laughs> syllables would be something. <laughs> or eight consonants in a row, something like that. <laughs> Uh, oh my God. we'll be covering your favorite team every day, so the says the read throughout the season. And don't forget, I'll have you covered on the entire conference every day with Locked On. I didn't say every day twice. Who wrote this? Locked On <laughs> Big 12, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. This has been and always will be the Locked On Dose Grande squad. Unless they Go get some hands. Between now and next week. <laughs>